One of the main reasons the United States spent so much money making sure everyone in America enjoys freedom and is safe from the threat of terrorist attack is the idea that the religious extremists around the world are trying to kill the American dream. But the sad reality is that the real threat to those living in the US is homegrown and is white. Yes, white Americans are the biggest terror threat in the United States according to a study by the New America Foundation. And the numbers are very clear from this, this study took into account every terror attack in the US, in US ground, since 9-11. 28 of them were perpetrated by jihadists, 46 were perpetrated by anti-government or white supremacist white men. Right, I mean, that theory that all terrorists are Muslims, well, um, all except 94% of them in this country, and um, the rest of them are white males. Um, we need to look at the factors as to why that is the case, though obviously taking in the population and percentage issues, um, they're the largest population here so far. Um, white terrorists, though, they tend to be, you know, and this is one study that, that was asking the question why. In some cases, um, they're alcoholics, they're loners, they have diagnosable mental, mental illness. There are a lot of factors where they're not necessarily part of a global agenda like you would think of when, when you think of the word terrorist. They tend to be isolated cases of, of men on their own, you know, committing these acts. Actually, there's some that will disagree with that idea, <laughs> and let me tell you why. Because if we track history, there's this, this, this persona in the white supremacist world that is key to kind of debunk that idea of the lone welfare. His name, um, Tom Metzger, and he's the founder of an uh, American white supremacist group called the White Aryan Resistance. And after being in different ranks of the KKK and then dabbling in, on elected, um, in elections to become a, an elected official, he put out a strategy to create this idea of the lone wolf, where he was advising the, the members of his organization to pretend that they were lone wolves. So, because he realized that back in the 90s, these white supremacist um, violent groups were being taken down by conspiracy laws. So he was very intelligent to identify that, 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 that uh, mechanism for these organizations to be bre breaking apart. And so he started indo indoctrinated everyone to say, when you get captured by police, you say these five words, I don't have anything to say. Cool. Even if they don't be long, even if they were part of a bigger group, they will say those things. So the idea of a lone wolf, he actually called it the lone wolf strategy. I mean, I know, but Jose, so you can't. So it's you hard can't. to track if, you see, if, 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 you, if that is true, and this is a, a, way, a modus operandi of these, these, these terror perpetrators, then it's hard to understand that there might be this networks of racists trying to create harm on population in the United States. I, mean, I understand what you're saying, but also you have to admit that there are Ted Kaczynski's out there that are in a cabin that are acting alone. They're not part of a global unified agenda uh, such as the ISIS caliphate. I mean, they have a one okay, singular I, I position that, where they're trying to create Why don't terror. we have any of these white terrorists in Guantanamo Bay? A better why question. Why any of them, they go through the things that a Muslim might go, right. or, you know, or a, or a quote unquote foreign terrorist Well, goals. one reason would be because they're citizens and they do have specific rights that non-citizens would but there's have there's some citizens, here. American citizens, that go through that just because they're Muslims. So I think that, yes, you might be right. There might be incidents where there's mental health, but at the same time, we can't just do that as a base ground for I'm with you. I you think know, it's racist, judging but everybody else. At the same time, though, more importantly, we should start calling these white terrorists terrorists instead I'd agree. of that. Yeah. Would that would change a lot if we could just change the verbiage as, that we used to describe them? Perhaps people would start to see what they really are, as opposed to just lone gunmen. I think so. I think it's very important for us not to go ahead and perpetrate the idea that all of these are lonely guys that just go nuts and start killing people. There has to be something deeper because it's something that is happening all of the time. And it's been happening for centuries. But it's just recently that we call it terrorism before it was, you know, a status quo. Let us know how you feel and please subscribe to the Leap TV too.